In this video, I'm going to prove the well-known slope-intercept form of a line, which is y is equal to mx plus c, where m is the gradient or slope, and c is the y-intercept. So this is what we want to prove. Prove that the equation of a line with a slope or gradient of m and the y-intercept of c is given by this equation, which is called a slope-intercept form, y is equal to mx plus c. So this is your x and y axis. So this is your y axis, and this is my this is your x axis. Okay, and uh, I've drawn a line, an arbitrary line, which makes an angle of theta with the positive arm of the x axis, and uh, b is uh, the point where the line intersects the y axis. So you can say this is the origin. O is the origin. And the coordinate of B is 0 comma C. So this distance OB, so let's write OB is equal to C because the Y intercept is C. Okay, so let us take an arbitrary point anywhere on this line X. Say let us say P X comma Y is an arbitrary point anywhere on the line. Okay, so now I'm going to drop a perpendicular from P on the x-axis. So this is a perpendicular from P on x-axis, and I'm joining uh, B with the with this line. So basically, this is a right angle, and this is also a right angle. So let us name this point say M, and this point as N. Okay, so I hope you can see uh, that these two lines can, can you, I hope you can see that line BN is parallel to x-axis, is parallel to x-axis, BN is parallel to x-axis, and as it's parallel, you can consider the line AB as a transversal. So if this angle is theta, that angle you can say if angle BAO is theta, BAO is theta, then you can say this angle PBN is also theta. So this angle is also theta. I hope you can see uh, it is theta because of corresponding angles formed by parallel lines and the transverse. So you can say angle. P, B, N is also theta. Okay, I'm writing in short. This is because of corresponding angles, parallel lines. Okay, this is how you can write in short. Okay, so what happens now? Now, in triangle, uh, in triangle, in triangle, P, N, B, in triangle, P, N, B, angle P and B is 90 or right angle so I can say tan theta is opposite over hypotenuse so the opposite is P n sorry, opposite over adjacent so P n over P n tan is uh, tau is opposite over adjacent now this is nothing but rise over run this is rise over run so if you consider these two points say if you consider b and p uh, you can cons you can say that pn is the pn is the rise pn is the rise and bn is the uh, run and rise over run is nothing but gradient and that is nothing uh, we can denote the letter m so we can say m Therefore, I can say, let me change color, therefore, m is equal to tan theta, which is equal to pn over bn. Okay, now, coming, looking back to the figure, pn, pn, let me scroll this up slightly up, pn is nothing but pm minus nm from pm 
if you take away n m you get p n okay so can i write this as p m minus p n no minus m n sorry p m minus m n over b n okay so let me do it so what is what is p m p m is nothing but y p m is y and n m is c so you can say this is c that is if b if b o is c this implies uh, you can say m n is also equal to c because if b o is c m n is also c and p m is y because the coordinate of p is x comma y so i'm going to write this therefore m is p m is y minus m n is minus m n is c and what is b n the distance from b to n is x if this is x so, sorry if this is x this distance is x so if this is x this is also x so in place of b n i can put x okay let me repeat so o o b is c so n m is c o m is x so b n is also x because c is an arbitrary point having the coordinate x comma y so the distance from o to m is x and the distance from m to p is y okay so now this this implies mx is equal to y minus c now multiplying or adding c to both sides mx plus c is equal to y therefore y is equal to mx plus c is the general form of an equation of a line which is called the slope intercept form.